Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone is blessed, staying in the word. I um, appreciate you guys giving this video a listen. So I want to talk about Alex Stein now. I've made videos exposing this guy before. I think it may be only one video exposing this guy before, but a lot of the comments I got on there, people were attacking me, saying Alex Stein's not an actor, Alex Stein's a legit truther, and you wish you had the following that he did, and blah, 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 blah. Now, obviously, we know he's been exposed by other YouTubers, um, YouTuber shills, I should say. You know, like to, you know, they like to fake expose each other but rv truth um put out a few videos exposing that he's a freemason now anybody with any common sense can put that together but here he is on the news again uh and it's the sky sky alaska news so uh alex stein he's just an actor it's a comedian and they, and it says it right underneath there he's not a truther he's he, he he you know he flat out says that he's not a christian and he said um in several podcasts that he was willing to do anything for fortune and fame and that he would sell out and that he was available for hire He's content with my next guest, he host of Primetime with Alex Stein me. on Blaze and, TV. Uh, Alex Stein, who also did invaluable work as a white dude for Kamala. <laughs> this guy is such a clown. He will do anything to make a couple, uh, a few bucks. You know, he'll do anything to, for the spotlight, anything for a few views, anything for a few dollars. Uh, he's not even a good actor. He, he's terrible. You see the shirt that he's wearing. Um, unreal and it says white dudes for Kamala and it's it's sad that people have fallen into for this racism okay this white dude or you're a black dude uh, you know it's ridiculous okay stop accepting these labels that they're putting on us okay and it's like people don't want to unite. They want to accept these labels. They want division. They want separation. They don't want to unite. They don't want to um, say we're all one. We're all the same. You know, uh, we all come from the same two people. We all bleed the same blood. We are all the same, no matter what skin color you are, what pick skin pigmentation. We none of us choose our skin color. I'm sorry, and I'm, I know I'm getting off on a rant. It's not part of the video, but it really bothers me the racism that's going on and. <laughs> If we could just come together and unite in Jesus Christ, man, it would help so much and, and, and get rid of these labels, man. White dudes, or I'm a white dude, or I'm a black dude, and I got to support, I'm black, so I got to support blacks. I got to support black-owned businesses. I'm white, so I got to uh, hate white people and, you know, buy from black. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy the mindsets that are out there, okay? How about we all just love each other? We all turn to Jesus. We all read our Bibles. We all love one another as we're called to okay as what the bible says in john when jesus says he gives us a new commandment to love one another um this is ridiculous and anyways let's play the video to stop donald trump from getting into office i came here with a dream i'm not gonna stand for it i'm not gonna stand for donald trump and i'm doing it for these kids i love these kids i love these kids it's so sad people think this is funny or hilarious or that this guy's legit. He really cares and is passionate. Like, you couldn't fall for either one of the spectrums. You know he's not legit. You know he's not he's not caring. I don't even think he has kids. And um, you know he's acting and he's not even good at it. He's not happy. I'm going through so much. And my damn wife keeps posting on Facebook. She's in Cancun, Mexico with her new boyfriend. And I just want one kid to learn how to... up top, they're promoting, it says, Prime Time with Alex Stein. So they're promoting his channel, which is Alex Stein 99. Do math! <laughs> oh, some of your best work, Alex. Explain best yourself, work. please. That's horrible. Not funny at all. Well, Rita, that was the day after the election, and they had a special meeting in Washington, D.C., because the testing scores, the standardized scores hey, for the uh, Washington school children, K through 12, were alarmingly bad. Well, clearly, he's a chameleon, and he can morph into whatever he's needed. And this guy's on here for like eight minutes for this interview on Sky News in the inner city schools that the kids were proficient for their grade level just eight percent of the students were proficient so they had to have a special meeting all about That's some stats somebody um you know force fed them that fed it because obviously you know he's not a smart guy he's not doing any of his, of his own research these are all stats that are fed to him off some sheet and he's not even good at repeating them math 
So that's why I went up there and talked about math. But that was a day after the election. And listen, I was up all night uh, celebrating that Donald Trump win. I I rolled in there, you know, uh, um, my pencil was not full of lead, but still. Look at that lady. She was like, wow, can you believe that a clown like this would come in here and, and attempt to fool people like this for his video for clicks? You could see it all over her face. Now, obviously, she's a satanic devil, too, more than likely sitting up there. A uh, high member of office of some board, but um, you know you don't get those jobs unless you're connected. Well, I went in there and did my best, uh, and it was uh, a great you know, I'm so happy. You're thank so you, happy. thank you. It was a great performance. Now people do celebrate in different ways, and I'm wondering whether you had anything to do with this celebration. No one wants to hear that crap. Did you put that sign up, Alex? It looks like your work. No, I did not. And, uh, you know, honestly, Daddy Trump needs to come back. He's coming back. Gas prices are about to get cheap. We don't have to worry about biological men beating women in, in women's sports. I mean, the world is going to get... Alex, Donald Trump's youngest son, Barron, has been credited for helping guide his father's... Adam Ross. Uh, here is Donald Trump talking about Barron's involvement in his campaign. So I have a son who's very smart and tall, Baron. Because I don't... Did this so-called bro vote have in this election? I remember uh, Republican women like Riley Gaines, uh, even Megyn Kelly, were encouraging men to go out there and vote to help save the country. Well, it was huge. And a lot of people want to criticize Donald Trump, but I think the best judgment of a man's character is how well Donald Trump's children are doing. And his son, Barron, is a genius for basically putting his... That's a clown. This is is a chameleon self where he can sit there and, you know, go for Trump. And he was going for Trump uh, all Trump's last election, you know, wearing his MAGA hats and all this. Now, this time, he's wearing a Kamala shirt. You see how these... These these uh, actors, they play both sides. Campaign over the top. And then on top of that, you look at Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, and, you know, his other children that have issues. You know, the Obamas, their kids are pretty wacky. All of That's a clown. Let me see if I can go find RV's video uh, exposing him. So I find it very odd. I just looked at an Alex, uh, or excuse me, on RV Truth, uh, which is now They Live Truth. Uh, Russian vid, excuse me, is now They Live Truth. I looked on his channel, and he's gotten rid of all the videos and live streams that I have could find exposing Alex Stein, which is really odd. Really, really odd. And it should show you everything you need to know about uh, They Live, RV Truth. You know, which I've said he's a shill a million times that, again, how do you expose somebody and take the video down? Like, unreal. Because they're all in a little club, and, you know, some t- and wh- whoever runs... They live channel, you know, he gets touchy sometimes, and if you make him mad, he'll do a video on you, and so he made a few videos on Alex, a lot of videos actually exposing Alex, I mean, absolutely exposing Alex as a Freemason and everything, and of course those videos are taken down, I find it very, very odd, I mean, he had all the evidence that Alex Stein was a Freemason, and anyways, here you should know, here he is being endorsed by yours truly, Glenn Beck, a Skull and Bones ma- uh, member, another gatekeeper, just like Alex Jones. Very, very funny. Or Part Alex of the Blaze Stein. family. Alex Stein, welcome. Wow, what a pleasure. And I hate to just start off by yelling and screaming, but I'm telling you, it's such a... Sur- like I told you guys, it's not just anybody. This anybody, It's not just like anybody can... Uh, you see, like, he was on the, all these truther channels. You know, you got to be connected to get to these places, to get these, um, to land on these certain shows and to, you know, all these type of things. Okay, I told you, he's connected. You know, don't be fooled by Jaronism, RV Truth, Russian Vids, um, Globe Busters, all these vi- people that are actually put out a lot of truth, but they're agents themselves. And... That's what myself, as long as I'm, a lot of other people, had to come to the conclusion of, hey, these people are gatekeepers. They're agents. Yes, they're putting a lot of truth out. You know, and we're in, you know, in the beginning, we were thankful for that. Um, but now we see all the red flags. We see the forest for the trees. We see who these people truly are. And we need and we are called to expose these people. These people are walking, you know, well, I won't say walking among us, but they're among, you know, uh, uh, both supposed to be like, 
Christians and, and exposing all this evil in the world. And they're supposed to be um, on our side, and they're not. They're wolves in sheep's clothing, okay? And we shouldn't be surprised because these Satanists told us that they were going to do this. They were going to have their Satanists take over the churches, the you know, the government bodies, the school systems, and they were going to take over the youth, and it wouldn't be only a matter of time, and they would have their people in every corner, per se, um, and be ready to go. So real moment i'm sitting here watching you know literally one of the most legendary broadcasters in the history of american media. i mean i not mean i'm not even trying to kiss your dear ear. i mean glenn beck is a revolutionary guy and i'm sitting here an idiot that goes and acts like a buffoon and uh, basically at least he admits it he's an idiot that acts like a buffoon for clicks and views he's fake he's a fraud he's connected he'd never be where he was if he wasn't so just thought i'd share that with you guys for what it's worth hope you're all Staying in the word, um, encouraging one another, loving one another, supporting each other. Uh, that's what we're called to do. Uh, not tear down, but build up. So want to leave you with that. And like I always say, make sure you're staying in the word. Creating that relationship with Jesus Christ is very, very important. And God bless each and every one of you.